Welcome to Vocab Wednesday. This theme may sound familiar. Just last month we had letter A, but there were so many juicy morsels of GRE vocabulary that began with the letter A that I couldn't help but help myself to choose some more. And thus we have part two, letter A. First word, a prize. Like, oh, I got first place, they're gonna give me a prize. No, a prize means to inform someone of some events. Usually something important is going on. So the president has many advisors who apprise him of the latest going on, whether it's what Russia's doing or the latest Ebola scare. Now you may think, oh, but there's another word that sounds like that. And there is. And that word is appraise with an AI. And appraise means to assess the value of, and it's not related to apprise. So I'm happy to apprise you of that. Next, we have an annoying word that is really smacks of like academic ease. And that word is antithetical. It's really annoying because it just basically means the exact opposite, just completely 100% opposite. So you can just say exact opposite. But if it's the GRE, it will probably say antithetical. So what is antithetical to colloquial, casual conversation? The word antithetical. By the way, the noun antithesis is related to that word. Next we have, what do we have? Ooh, adulterate. Sounds kind of like naughty, like, ooh, what's going on here? But adulterate just means to kind of take something that's nice and pure and corrupt it or blemish it or to compromise the overall quality. So you'll notice this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite markers. It's the Magoosh Purple. However, if I start writing with another marker over it, it will adulterate the beautiful purple that is the Magoosh marker, meaning it will compromise or lower the quality of something. So maybe you like having, like I do, drinks without ice cubes in them. Because ice cubes melt and they get all watery and nasty. So I always feel like ice cubes adulterate the quality of my beverage. Moving on, we have June, July, and August. Well, we also have a second definition of August. Comes from Augustus Caesar, a very imposing Roman emperor who wanted to be known for his greatness and his majesty and his all around awesomeness and impressiveness. And so he came up with the word August as well as the month that's named after him. Just how cool is that? You get to have a month named after you. So when we talk about August, we're not just talking about some dude sticking out his chest. We are talking about anything that is grand and awe-inspiring. For instance, when you look up GRE words and you wanna find them used in articles, that's good to choose the more August publications, the more venerable and respected publications like the New Yorker or the New York Times. And so again, impressive doesn't have to describe a person, it can describe almost anything. Even the month of August, if you're like, oh, great August, this is my favorite month, it is August, August, which is kind of weird, because I can't really think of too much that makes August awesome, but I can't think about next week when I will be coming up with more words. See you then.